This patient has had prior intraocular lens exchange after yak capsulotomy. She's also had prior anterior vitrectomy surgery. Her current panoptics lens implant is in a reverse optic capture configuration where the optic is anterior to the anterior lens capsule and the haptics are behind the anterior lens capsule. I'm about to show you what you should avoid and not do after reverse optic capture when there's no posterior capsular support. The eyes filled with Helon GV viscoelastic to stabilize the anterior chamber. Our panoptics lens is in excellent position. We now will lower the bottle height of our infusion to the lowest possible position, then introduce our irrigation and aspiration handpiece in a low flow irrigation setting. Good. Now we get to solve a problem that we created. The lens implant has just dislocated into the vitreous from our infusion. We have maybe a minute before the panoptics lens falls to the retina. We first try to lift the lens optic with a Connor wand, but as we bring the Connor wand toward the lens optic, the optic moves further into the vitreous. So we then use micro forceps to try to grab and lift the haptic. As we open our forceps, the lens again moves away from our instruments and wants to sink toward the retina. I figure at this time that I have one chance more to grab this lens. If I lose this lens into the vitreous and can't lift it, then I will have to inform the patient of her situation and then refer her to a retina specialist for retrieval of the panoptics lens. So we use the Connor wand one more time and pass the tip behind the optic and then gently lift the optic up and back into reverse optic capture configuration. We're not referring this patient to retina today. Now, we still need to remove the Helon GV from the anterior chamber, so we methodically and gently flush the anterior chamber with BSS on syringes through a 27 gauge cannula. Once the viscoelastic has been flushed, we hydrate our incisions, then we use a cyclodialysis spatula to sweep the pupil and the incisions to make sure there is no vitreous prolapse. The panoptics is perfectly centered in reverse optic capture configuration. Two lessons learned. Number one, never use INA to remove viscoelastic if the IOL is in reverse optic capture in the absence of a posterior capsule. Just use BSS on syringes. Number two, the Connor wand is to a cataract surgeon like a lightsaber is to a Jedi. Next time, try not to lose it. Yes, master. This weapon is your life. It can save you. Have it ready at all times. Thanks for watching. Learn from my mistakes. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.